So th- this is where we stand right now, Scott. So uh, obviously, I, I've seen a lot of misinformation put out there, but that's what happens sometimes when you don't communicate to the group. A long story short, back in in April, they were absolutely correct. They st- we stated that we were going to go through a care and maintenance period. Um, we we announced that to the the news, local government, to include Sandra, the mayor. That hey, look. You know, due to COVID in the current state of the economy and our and our customers and the market conditions, we are going to take a, a care maintenance period of 90 days. Um, and in any extra volume, we would move up to our sister mill up in Peoria because obviously they were impacted as well. They are a much larger facility. So they probably do five times the amount that we do. So, um you know, they absorb some of our volume as they were way down. And during that period, we would kind of do some business modeling and assessment of what capital would be needed in the roller mill. Now, this is not the melt shop that was announced with the $25 million last year. This is the roller mill side, the finishing side. What would need to be done there during this time to make, that makes sense uh, as far as investment to get us a little bit more competitive on that end as well. And then uh, talk about when we're going to do that, you know, when the market improves what we're forecasting um that type of thing right is to do more modeling so uh that puts us to today well they said 90 days from from uh and they would make a decision well we're kind of running towards the end of that 90 days of that decision now i want to be very clear scott i am only speaking to the finishing side this is not about the, the whole new melt shop that we talked needed 25 to 40 million and all that investment that was talked about 19 this is just the rolling mill that i'm talking about right now so we conducted a study uh uh, of what we would need there in Georgetown to be competitive, and then also what the market looked like in that geographic area, what customers were starting to come back up online uh, to understand the market conditions, and then also what plays on that is the capacity at Peoria. So as things are slowly picking up, Peoria is becoming coming up to capacity now, and th- so the push to get Georgetown back is is starting to to come to fruition a little bit more. We have to make a decision here where we, real soon, when is that going to happen, right? Well, in all of that, there has been some discussion. Well, hey, look, what if, you know, the, the, the big thing in Georgetown all the time, what if the plant doesn't start back up? Uh, here we go again, same old, same old, up, down, up, down. So there has been a lot of talk about, well, look, if the plant doesn't start back up, what do we do if it doesn't start up here soon? We have stakeholders, whether it's the community, um, uh, local government, we got employees, we got managers, we got customers, we got suppliers, we got contractors. You know, what are we going to do here? And that's kind of some of the discussion that we've had here of late because we still do not have a restart date for Georgetown. There's been no decision to shut Georgetown down permanently, none at all. That has not come from anybody in the executive team or the ownership. We're in a kind of a limbo mode is the best way I can say it right now, Scott. I will tell you that in the very near future, we will have to make a decision on when we're going to start up Georgetown, if we're going to start up, so to speak. Okay, so, 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 And the reason being is because everybody keeps throwing out their, the, the new zoning, right? After a certain period of time, you only have so long to run product because of the, its zone mix now instead of industrial. Um, I don't really think that that clock has started yet because there's language in that that states um, if there was a um, you know a major catastrophe or a natural disaster or whatever. I think a lot of people will will play in the thing. Oh, COVID definitely would would fall into one of the categories, so it might give us a few extra months to to do what we need to do. But right now, the the best to, to tell you what's going on with the mill. We we are just we're still sitting here in limbo, waiting for market conditions to pick back up to a point to where it makes business sense to start back up. I've recommended to the executive team that if the right investment is not put into it, it makes zero sense to start up. Uh, since it was purchased, we've not invested the right capital or any capital. To be honest with you, the money that's been invested is just startup costs. But um, until we actually update some of the equipment and become more efficient and competitive, we would only be starting up at a huge disadvantage to our our competitors. It would make no sense.